most of you coaches are going to have 1% of athletes who are superstars, who just get it, who are really athletic and make it a state or very high levels. The 99% of the athletes, the rest of them, are going to be your average athletes who need to work and develop and may take two, three, four years to develop. So here is my practice that I go through uh, on a regular for my beginner jumpers. We start with gallops. Um, I typically have them do about 40 or 50 feet of gallops. Um, we're on the runway now, but typically we're on the grass. But basically all we're working on is our positions and checkpoints of the long jump, of hitting our heel tuck position, hitting the A position, and so on. Then we'll move on to bounding. The bounding is another dynamic drill that really focuses on the basics. So if we're doing long or triple jump, either way, their body parts and muscles are ready to go for that specific drill. And I really make sure that they stay flat-footed, really make sure that they're understanding that they're waking the body parts up and using those motor skills to become activated. Then we'll move into our pop-ups. The pop-ups basically are just run to the edge of the pit, go through all the motions of your takeoff, focusing on height, allowing your speed to carry through. And as you can see, there's a wide range of strength and abilities. Um, most of my athletes are sophomores. So the first jumpers are freshmen. The last two, um, Ali and Clarissa, are sophomores. So they're going to have your typical flaws. Eliana, same thing. She's also a sophomore. So this year's group is very, very young, but it's getting the basics down. Claire is, I believe, a junior, um, second year for track. You can see that a lot of the motions are happening and they're in a very good position. Joy's a senior. Good motions, good exchange there. And again, it's not going to be perfect. Albert's a senior. Uh, last year went 21-4. Expecting him to go 23 this year. Dario is also a junior. Um, this is his first year of actually understanding the technical piece. So that was his literally his best jump that I've ever seen in, in my life. And this is Kyle, I believe he's a sophomore, and um, he's getting the motions down, understanding motion. And then Sam stuttering to the edge of the pit, but she is a junior. Then once we finish that, then we go into technical actual jumps. So we're applying the same pop-up and then landing with it. As you can see, the drive knee comes forward. Well, that's clear twice, but... Um, and I'm having the boys evaluate the jump, so we're coaching each other. And you're going to have athletes do the same thing where they're <clears throat> simply forgetting the motions and skill set, but it all comes together. As we continue these practices just like this throughout the, uh, the season, we're going to see that it's going to be a huge change in forcing them to stick with A form. Once you have everyone stick with A form, they're going to uh, develop into that form and get stronger and faster and etc. So from there, you can see that the boys go. Um, I have them back up to the eight-foot board simply because of their distance and their jump. Also, it's just easier for the camera to be in one spot. But Dario's looking great. Again, this is their very first long jump practice since last year. And with these being lower levels, this is their last long, their last long jump practice was back in uh, April or May. Yeah. So all in all, um, they're looking really good. That's my practice. But the details in it was I was breaking down what they should be doing, how to correct it, and so on. And as you get that down, you're going to see their improvement.